Hello guys and welcome to my new YouTube tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how you can use this uh, plugin that's called uh, Animated Rain. And you can see that uh, I added some water puddles, some light to just make it more realistic. And you, how you can actually render in this high quality. If you go to the uh, Unreal Engine store, uh, you can see that it's not too much expensive, but uh, it can really be helpful uh, if you want to do really an amazing scene. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is create a high quality plane. So when I render and when I drop the material, it can be actually rendered as high quality. So I'm going to go to selection mode and press on modeling, rectangle, and there is our rectangle. I'm going to increase it a little bit. And I'm going to increase the size and the subdivision. Now the subdivision is increasing the quality. So if you go to lit, wireframe, remove these, you can see that there is not a lot of quality. So I'm just going to put them to 100 and then I'm going to hit accept. I'm going to go back to lit, go back to selection. After I created this high quality plane, I'm going to go here, right click, add quixel content and I'm going to use three materials, any three materials. But if you need my materials, I'm just going to copy asset ID and put them in the description below. And make sure you download them at highest quality so the render is at the highest quality. And I'm just going to go and add them. After I add them, I'm going to go to Mega Scans, Surfaces, go here and press Materials, Material Instance. And I'm going to click this one first and maybe this one second and third but I need this one first so it can show first here and I'm gonna go back here and press on that and then create material blend after I'm done I'm gonna close these two go content disable this uh, blend materials and drop this here and that's how we start uh, painting in the next step to be able to paint on the uh, plane, you're going to have to go to selection mode, mesh paint, on paint, and you can see this green circle. Now go down, swap these. Um, the red is the second material, the green is the third material, and the blue is the water puddles. Now if you deactivate these two, press here, you can see we are painting. Press here, the green one and we are also painting. Now, if you wanna use the water puddles, you have to click on the blue one, but actually you can't see anything because we don't have uh, the puddles activated. So you're gonna have to go to blend materials, double click on this one, type here, puddle, activate this, and I'm gonna use the black color, and I'm gonna save that. And you can see now we have water puddles. Uh, you can also remove the uh, the um, paint by pressing on shift. And there we go. Now if you purchase the rain material, you go here, maps, and untitled. You can see that there is an amazing effect here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on these and control C and I'm going to go back to content, my world, and I'm going to press here, control V. There we go. But that's the easy part. That's the easy part. If you go inside here, let's get out of now you can see that there is a wet floor rain which you can customize which you can make bigger and whatever you want now how can you actually scale this to the map you cannot actually just click here uh, and just scale it no you're gonna have to go to my link in the description and uh, follow the tutorial and uh, the creator is gonna tell you how exactly he did it and that's how I do it so now I'm going to add an emissive material. So I'm going to right click, material, EM, emissive. And I'm going to go here, hold one, and press um, left click, 
3 left click and M left click. Now this is for color, this is for the emiss emission value, and this is for mixing. So I'm going to put this here, and that one here. This goes to base color, and that one goes to emissive. You can see that there is no uh, light or something. I'm going to go here, put it white, and I'm going to increase the value maybe to 5. Now we have an emissive. Apply. Go to starter content, architecture, add some, uh, any, any shape you want. I'm just gonna make this smaller. Go content and, oh. All right, so I just go here and there we go. And I'm gonna press here, control L to drag the sun down. And there we go. So now I'm going to teach you how to actually do a very, um, very high quality render. All right, so now I'm going to add a camera. I'm going to go here to cinematic and drag camera. And then I'm going to go to uh, perspective and cinema camera actor nine. You can actually add multiple viewports by going to window, viewports, and there you go. And now I'm gonna just uh, fix the focus. I'm gonna go to my camera here and focus settings. And just, you can also drag and drop like this. So what I need you to do is go to settings, plugins, type here movie render. And I need you to check this and then it's gonna ask you to restart your engine. I'm gonna close that go to Windows Cinematic, and that's what I actually uh, checked. So I'm going to click on Movie Render, and I need a sequence. So I'm going to press here, Add Master. I'm going to call this uh, Scene 1, Create. And now go here, delete that. I'm going to go and bring my camera here, and put this here then go back to cinematic movie render and scene one there we go now I'm gonna start adding high quality uh, render settings I'm just gonna delete that because I need a PNG and console variables and that one I'm gonna explain each one now this one is when you type 64 or higher and press and check that one it's like rendering or reading the image 64 times so it can render on high quality and if I go to console variables and add a console variable such as ambient inclusion global illumination reflection denoiser this is gonna fix all this stuff so I'm just gonna control C and control V each one of these and every time you have to click the plus icon And I'm gonna go to output, gonna like uh, put my file uh, where I need to render my files, the location. Gonna just select the folder and I wanna put this at 30 frames per second. You can actually also put the output resolution on 8K or something, but that would be too much. And then I'm gonna save this in case I need to use it again, these settings, and hit accept. And if I want to use the settings again to another uh, scene master, I'm just going to go here and load and save. So after I'm done, I'm just going to hit render local. And just I'm going to render maybe five frames. And then I'm going to hit exit. Now this is my render file. And if I click on one of these, you can see that I have a really high quality um, plane and light and everything. I'm gonna close these and I'm gonna go to viewport one, go here, selection and mesh paint, paint, remove these. I need to actually select that one, paint, and I'm gonna add water puddles.
All right. Maybe make this smaller. Now go to selection. Again, cinematic, movie render, render local. How cool is that? I mean, it's amazing. The quality, the light, the rain, they affect everything. So I hope you like this tutorial and I hope to see you in my next videos. Thank you for watching and goodbye.